Hi everyone, I'm India from lifeisapagetrunner.com and today I would like to talk about how I read on my Kindle. So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time because there are a lot of videos out there of how I annotate my books and how I do that and how I do that. And there's only a handful of videos out there on how to read on an e-reader or how I read on an e-read reader. So today that's what we're going to do. Um, this is one of the Kindle or Amazon products that I own. Um, this is just the Kindle Paperwhite, I believe. Um, I plan on making a whole different video about the different Kindles that I own and the different Kindles that are out there and picking whichever one is right for you. This is the Kindle Paperwhite, so that's what I'm going to be doing this video with today. Um, so let's get started on doing this video on how I read on my Kindle. So. For some of this video though, I will be showing like the same screen but on my iPad. But it's still, I do the same things on my Kindle. But this is mainly what I bring along because look how tiny it is. It is super thin and tiny, so small you can put it in your purse. That's why I love a Kindle. I've got, you know, 50 books on here because I take off the old ones sometimes. Even though it's got so much space, I've never had a full problem. Um, it's got so many books on here that I can take with me at all times, so I can flip with them anywhere. Um, I also love to read on my e-reader because I can go from my Kindle to my phone, to my iPad, to my other Kindles, and never miss a beat. Half the time, I don't want to carry these big, heavy books, um, so, but I do almost always have my phone on me, so I've got some downtime. I can read. Awesome. Right? So, let's get started on showing you how I read on this Kindle. But first of all, I definitely don't read standing up and I don't read in my office. So, let's go to where I do most of my reading. So first, of course, you have to go to a place that you feel most comfortable reading. For me, sometimes that's in bed with my wonderful fluffy pillow. And then I get ready. And then next, depending on your Kindle, you might need good lights. Alexa, turn on lamp. Okay, and then if you are a muncher or a drinker, when you read, you're gonna need something to drink. Then you get something delicious to drink. And of course, some sort of bookish mug. Mmm, hot chocolate in July. I can feel my insides melting in this Atlanta heat. <laughs> And then you might get your favorite furry friends, but of course, if you're anything like my bear, whose butt you have in your video, <laughs> um, you might have to distract them with their favorite treat. So now that you're all set up and comfortable, now you get ready to read. So you go on your Kindle, you find your home button, depending on whichever Kindle or your power button. A lot of the Kindles, they turn themselves off, so you have to turn them off in order to get them to work. The best part about Kindles is that they have an amazing, amazing battery life, and so they last for a very long time. And you go from home, you go from home where you can see like all of your books, anything, anything you've downloaded from the internet, PDF files, whatever, your Kindle app can house, can house all of that. Oh, and if you didn't know, you didn't, you don't need a Kindle in order to read from the Kindle app. You can download the Kindle app. I think I know I've already mentioned this kind of. You can download the Kindle app on your iPhone or iPad and still get all of the books from Amazon and Audible straight on to those devices without actually having to buy a Kindle if you don't want redundancy. I like redundancy. So now for showing sake, I'm gonna show you how I read on my Kindle, but while using my iPad. So while I'm comfortable here with my dog, I get myself ready, comfortable, snacked out, and then the next thing that I do is, of course, I have to go to my homepage on my iPad in order to get to my Kindle. I open up my Kindle app, I wait for it to load, and then you can see all of, you can see all of my books. I was taking a picture of Legendary Last using my iPad. Um, because I don't always buy the books because I read on my Kindle, obviously. And so from there, you can see all the books on your iPad or Kindle. With the iPad and iPhone version, you can um, change your screens. So let's see. 
You can change your screens. You can link it to Goodreads, which is awesome. But you can change your settings, and so you can change your color themes to light. And then this is what your library now looks like here. And then, or kind of like it in dark mode. And change it back to dark so it looks darker. You can show the clock. Um, you can do continuous scrolling, you can have push notifications, as you can see, you can do continuous scrolling, show clock while reading, um, page turn animation. So we've got all of those things on for our app, which I are, as you already saw, I can, you can also link it to Goodreads. Only thing is, it doesn't actually like update your reading every once in a while. Like if you reach like a halfway point, it doesn't update it on Goodreads. It just updates that like you started reading it on a certain day and then when you finish it and you can put your review directly when you're done with it on Goodreads from there. Um, the other part that I love about reading with my Kindle lately is their connectivity with Audible. That has been such a game changer for my life. So like a lot of times I can read on my iPad or on my Kindle or wherever. And then if I like still want to continue, like I'm at a really good spot and I still want to continue, I can switch it over to um, Audible and listen to it in my car without missing a beat. So anyway, back to the Kindle. So on Kindle for iPad, you can see I've got some titles that have, um, that have like the audible stickers, like Children of Blood and Bone, Three Dark Crowns, Dark Dear Martin. And you can see all the books that I have either read or I'm supposed to be reading <laughs> that I haven't read yet. Um, and some other things that I've downloaded from the internet on here as well. Um, so this is like all books or you can go to downloaded and just see the ones that are specifically downloaded on this particular device. And so all of your books are housed obviously in the cloud. And so if you only want certain books downloaded on your iPhone, your iPad, or one of your Kindles, um, you can just download them straight from there. So um, I am reading Legendary currently by Stephanie Garber. And so let's say I'm going in and I read it. And we're gonna go to my, my most recently page on my iPhone. And we're going to try out continuous scrolling on here. So when I'm reading a book, a lot of times I do like to highlight and make notes when I'm reading. So that way then when I'm done, I can go back to said highlights and notes. So let's say I'm sorry, I started reading. <laughs> um, let's say I was reading and then I wanted to read what happened to this. So I can highlight this if I want to try and remember what happened and I can highlight it and it'll be saved in my notes. So I have it right now on continuous scrolling which means I can just scroll straight up instead of flipping the pages. I'm not so sure how much I like that actually. So I can turn that off here. I can turn that off here and I can turn it back into pages. You can also change your brightness and your font size. You can make it bigger, even bigger. You can make it back to normal. You can make it so it's screen. All these types of things, however many things you want to do in order to make it more easier for you to read, essentially, which is why I like it. Because some people need large print books, but not everything is printed in large print. And then some people just want it a little bit bigger, depending on the day, like your eyes are tired or whatever, and you just want it a little bit bigger. So that's the best part about having all these settings in your Kindle, you can make the book completely yours and the reading experience even more comfortable for you. And so then, let's say I want it to turn the page. See, it looks like a page turn. So I've turned the page and by swiping, it looks like a complete page turn. So if I wanted to write a note, I could highlight it, tap it, and it can either show me the dictionary for what words I want to do, or I can write a note and be like, article, card, sorry if I could spell, <laughs> article card shows the future. So I can remember exactly what that meant to Tella and Scarlett during this, during this book. 
let's a lot of times I will annotate by highlighting new characters' names. And so I'll just highlight Scarlet. I can also copy, but I would just highlight I can highlight Scarlet. And then I can keep characters' names down just fine. Um, for people who like to color code, you can color code in here because they have different ones. Um, different colors of highlighters. So if you wanted to highlight a full on quote, like say you wanted to highlight this quote, I can highlight it in a different color. I can make it orange for quotes. I could keep blue here for characters' names. I can keep yellow just for general things. And I could make pink, a lot of people make pink, you know, romance or any sort of love that could possibly be having um, in this video. I mean, <laughs> in this book, having in this book. So, um, then I also like that it tells you like how fast you're reading, kind of like what your goal is. So you can tell like, okay, it says I have an hour and three minutes left in this book. So that means if I sit here and read at my current pace, it'll take me an hour and three minutes, give or take, to finish this book. Which is good to know sometimes when you're pushing it, when you know you should be in bed and you're pushing it, but you're like, just one more page, one more chapter, one more book, I don't know, let me finish, let me start the next one too. Um, but that's kind of how I probably made this video a bit more dramatic than necessary, but that's kind of how I read my Kindles. Um, I do the exact same thing that I did over here on my iPad on my Kindles. I go through and, you know, on the Kindle it's a little bit more difficult to highlight because you have to kind of press the button, especially for this one because it's not a touch screen. You have to press the button, screw it over, highlight, 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 and then have it in tabs. Um, and then have it in tabs. And then, after you've done all of your titles, you can then go through and you can look at your notebook. And it'll tell you where you can see all of your highlights, your character descriptions, um, your notes, it tells you what page it's on, the location, your highlight, what color you highlighted so you know what theme and all that kind of great stuff, which is one reason why I like doing it because it's so much faster for me to do it just like with my finger real quick and type it out than it is for me to get my page flags, if you don't know where they are right now, get my page flags and try and write something to try and remember or do like a middle of the book annotation because for a while in some, in some of my books I was doing page flags and annotating to try and make better reviews and I would like catch up after so many chapters I would kind of say what I thought so I'd remember but that's why I like reading on my Kindle because it's so much easier and then look you then even on your Kindle um, or on your iPad for Kindle and probably on different versions of Kindles but not this Paperwhite um, maybe on the Paperwhite you can then go by clicking the let's go button and you can post your notes and highlights to the Goodreads community if that's what you want to do. If you saw anything that you want to discuss in Goodreads um, or anything like that, any quotes you want to talk about, um, you can put them, post them to Goodreads. Um, you can post them to Goodreads, which is always good to have evidence to back up what you have to say and discuss about these videos because we have all seen what happens when people try and make discussions about books and it is not factual because I don't know what quotes they're trying to get, but they don't exist. So it's always good to be able to know to know where to come back to on certain quotes that you have problems with or just certain quotes that you love that make you feel really good. Um, so that's why I love doing this on my Kindle. As you can see, I've got lots of books on here. These are just the ones that are downloaded on my iPad versus all my books throughout the years and throughout the ages, which I'm pretty sure these still aren't all the books because that list seems a little, these are probably all the ones that are sent to my iPad because um, those books were a little skimpy. But you have your community as well, at least on the iPad for Kindle. So you can show up on your community and discover new reads and all of that, which is taking a long time to load and you can discover new books based off of your reading habits and your shopping history and you know you buy one romance novel 
and then you get all of these books and you're like I don't really want to do that and, but you've got things that are recommended for you based off of your books and you've got your community it's where you can share books that you love and it's a lot of fun you can see your Goodreads community and it's kind of it's just it's an easy way to stay connected to the reading community and I really enjoy it and I love it and I will always push for a Kindle whether it be buying an actual Kindle or a Kindle app but I think that I've blabbed along enough for how I read on my Kindle I personally just feel like it is so easy to do and it's so easy to keep track of your reading that um that's why I like it. And it's easy to get through books when you're in reading moods because you can easily pick one up and start one again. The main reason I like Kindles, which you know, I'll discuss all of this um, when I do my Kindle comparison. The main reason I like Kindle over doing it on the Kindle app because if I pick up my phone or my iPad and I start reading and I get distracted by one notification or anything like that, I'm likely to go look at my notifications to go see what it is and then I'm distracted from reading for the whole time. So, other than that, I think that's it for me. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you would like, I mean, I already plan on doing it, but if you would like to see a video of different, I have three different types of Kindles here at home, and if you would like to see a video comparing the three, please let me know. If you have any questions regarding Kindles, how they work, what they do, anything like that, please let me know as well down in the comment section below. No, this video is not sponsored by Amazon or Amazon Kindle, though Amazon, you know, if you want to send me new Kindles or even Kindle accessories, I'll take them. I'll take them, you know? Thank you. I appreciate it. Like I said, if you just have any general questions about Kindles and how they work, like, I could probably answer them for you. Um, so don't forget to leave any comments below. You can follow me on all the social medias and you can find me there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel we are producing content frequently ish we're producing content every now and again i'm just kidding not every now and again we're producing content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below don't forget to hit that bell notification button so that way you know when a new video is coming out and until next time keep turning the pages Thank you.